think yeah, we'll another video. Spring vibes this time. We're gonna go through things and see what we can make of my spring set. I told you, graphic tees. We can get some graphic tees for the spring. It's fine to use graphic tees in spring. I know we talked about graphic tees before in the other video, but you know, they're good for showing out your personality and showing the type of TV shows you like. Everything you know, you don't have to worry about what other people are gonna say. Get your graphic tees if you need some. Just don't buy too many. I know this is I know this is for spring, but I know this is for spring, but tell me, is it bad to wear a blazer in the spring? Hey Joe, what do you think? Blazer in the spring, what do you think? I feel like you can rock that one still. You, you know, get this with some jorts or something like that. Mm. It's not too crazy. You know, I, I think I could rock that, you know. I I you know what? When it gets to summertime, yeah, it'll be hot, right? But like, think of think about it. For this fashion thing, you just gotta have to do you just gotta be better than everyone else in some sort of way. You gotta be hot at some point. It's gotta be hot. Oh yeah, see this this uh this shirt here? Something like uh no a lot of fabric on it. Please do not crop it, it's okay. You don't have to crop everything, it's okay. Just keep it normal like this, let it loose, let it go sway. Then you get a nice vest underneath this, or you get like um a Uniqlo tee. Yeah, hey, we all know about the Uniqlo tees. You get a Uniqlo tee underneath. Get some jaws on. I say I keep saying jorts because that's what you guys like. I don't I don't be wearing that. I don't have no jorts in my house. None. Hey, I, 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 I can't even lie to you. I want to keep wearing my jeans. I don't know about you. I'm going to keep wearing my jeans. I want to keep wearing these in the summertime. No one can tell me nothing. I'm going to keep wearing them. You think, you think, you think I can? I don't know how to start off in the summer. I don't know nothing. This ain't too bad. I don't really style these most of the time. Um, what do you call these vests? I can't even tell you. I don't, I don't know. know. I forgot the name. Um, We're going to call them fisherman vests. <laughs> See these fisherman vests? They actually go well with some fits, you know. Like a gilet? Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's the word. The gilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the gilets, yeah. Massive fisherman vest. The gilets, yeah. They actually go real nice, you know. This is a bit too big for my liking. Like, this is why you need to learn your measurements, learn your proportions, learn your silhouette. Once you do all that, it becomes so much easier to figure out what you need to get for your body type. You see all this? This is all cut down to the way I like it. Because I know my, I know my palette, my silhouette. Figure it out. Because this ain't gonna, this is gonna make, this is gonna drown me. It's gonna make me look like a little boy. Ah, this is the real fisherman. The real fisherman one. Why does everyone have to be six foot for this stuff? Because it doesn't mean nothing. You know, I'll try green this. Try green this spring. Try different colors. Honestly. Different colors help you elevate your style. You feel me? Damn. What I'm, waiting, what I'm looking for now is some polo shirts because there's going to be something else I don't see a lot of people wearing in the spring and summertime and like a lot of careers don't really wear stuff like that so we're going to try and put that into our into our clothing Went around, got a couple pieces, so they're all here, right? This all for spring, maybe living into a bit of winter too, a little bit, but yeah, trying to do mostly spring summer type vibe. Here's a reference already. Someone already made this. This is not mine. This is not mine. Just put it out. This is not mine. But someone already made this, but that's reference. So I'm gonna make my own fit with that same reference, and this is what I came up with. Ed Gillette with an MLB, I think it's MLB, right? Jersey underneath. And obviously at yeah, the bottoms, we're just gonna wear like some this like carpenter pants, some uh, some baggy jeans, whatever you wear wherever you feel like underneath. But that's the main style of it right there. But if you wanna you wanna try and go with like a smart core type vibe, but still streetwear, you're gonna do a cross between. I got you. But it is a graphic tee. Come on, bro. Are you doing it like that? He's doing it like that. And we're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. Get suit pants. You can get long suit pants, right? But then, you know what? Cut it. Make them into some short pants. 
So yeah, I get it. You'll be a little bit hot, right? You'll be a little bit hot, but what are you gonna do for fashion? You gotta do what you gotta do for fashion. Gym, then got this one here. You wanna put this in with a vest underneath. Maybe wear like some jorts underneath it as well. Sorry, not underneath. So you want the jorts at the bottom. Maybe you could wear some gazelles. Wear something like a short shoe. Nothing too chunky. Or you could wear chunky shoes like lamb vins or skater shoes. But right here is for the people. Don't really know. You feel me? Oh. These pants here remind me of some uh, black bottoms I've got at home as well. So I was thinking like this would be a cool vibe. I don't know what I'll pair it up with yet, but I feel like just go simple, right? Graphic tee, this, and some, I don't know, black air forces. You know what I mean? Uh, wait, no black air forces. We don't, we don't do that around here. No black air forces. AOD. Probably white air forces. Huh? Oh. So we say AOD. I thought that was me. Some other smart ass got me. Carry the language and this one here, I just, I'm just messing with the MLB right now. I feel like we should make it into a trend. MLB jerseys. We used to do it back in the day, around like 2013, 14. I used to see them a lot of the time, but not really much anymore. I feel like this is what we should be getting into instead right now. You know what I mean? All right, cool. Now, let's head off to the next store and see what other outfits we can make there. All right, we'll catch you guys in a sec. for the spring too now we're trying to do something different just like we did in the other one we're going to do something different now and guess what i just found their wedding attire how are we going to incorporate wedding attire into actual streetwear clothing for the spring summertime i got you we're going to build a fit let's get it overshirt and now now i'm thinking overshirts for spring overshirts Burn it up. You feel, no, don't burn it up. Don't not burn it up. Just keep it open. Put a nice white tea underneath. And guess what I'm about to say? What tea? A Uniqlo tea. You don't need to spend a lot of money on basics. I know a lot of people do that these days, but you don't have to if you don't have the bread for it. They should just go get Uniqlo tea. And they're expensive now these days. What? How much are they now? 20 pounds? So now we've got the, the new store. We now got the spring stuff, which I saw, which I thought. I did not really touch on in the last vi in the last video as well. So, windbreaker, this one here, fire. I built the prices side. It's eighty pounds. So I would even cop this. I can't lie. You probably can find this on printed for cheaper. Most things you can find for cheaper. But I was thinking to wear this even with these pants right here because they they're flimsy already, you know. Or now moving into the summertime, you can wear something like this with it as well. And on the topic of jackets as well, bomber jackets. Now, I know bomber jackets can be a bit hefty, but however, you can find some which are real flimsy, which are light material, which you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis in the spring, summertime. And to be honest, we live in a country where it rains every day. So you, you, you already know you're going to need something like this around you all the time when you're making your clothing or whatsoever. you got you to get ready for the weather. Something real light like this. You don't even have to zip it up. Right? Get a nice graphic tee underneath and it's alright. It's not that hard to change your fist down. That now to get something a little bit more for the people you're like not entry level these are for the people who got xp xp for the fit we're getting to the wedding the wedding attire so this is just a delay i don't know it's a waistcoat so it's gonna go with this then we're gonna pair this waistcoat with these bombs here 
And now I was drinking some long socks and uh, some loafers, or just wear normal socks. Don't don't get long socks. And then literally, I guess what? We're not even done. You need to put that hat on as well. Yunji. My train conductor hat. <laughs> okay, you can see. Yes, sir. Smart, eh? Overshirt, man. Like, you know, it's, a, it's a good addition. You want to do a more classy, a more smart vibe. You know, it's not really my style, so I would never really go with this type of vibe here. But yeah, it's good for the springtime. You know, what's that? What's that aesthetic called again? Rich money, rich money aesthetic. Huh? Old money, old money aesthetic. Old money aesthetic. Man, I, but I have no old money, so <laughs> I can't really do it, right? <laughs> but. Uh, I feel like this is really good as well, man. You should definitely try it out if you're trying. And it, I'm saying like, okay, this did not come out as, as, as well as I was expecting. But we can change up a few things here. And it's this, this is all clothing is about, it's about having fun, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Clearly this doesn't work that well. However, the top bit is actually quite fine. I just need to find something better for the bottom. I think the pants I had before were actually much better for this than these ones here so yeah that's i mean that's it man i think mean, that's i think mean, that concludes this door because that was enough that's enough for one day <laughs>